Hi guys, Riaz here from Blades and Triggers and I've got something quite interesting with me today. I've got the new Hatson Factor BP and as you can see, this is the FT version. A little bit different to the normal um, and we're going to be doing a quick review. What a bit of shooting as well because yeah, we're back outdoors and we're going to take a look at what you can actually get out of this specific 4.5 rifle. Alright All right, guys, so let's take a look at the makeup of the rifle itself for starters it is a 4.5 rifle so a little bit different to the usual 5.5s that we normally shoot um, you're looking at your magazine count on the rifle let me just remove it quickly yeah you're looking about a 24 round magazine so if you're looking for quite a bit of shots you're going to get it out of the 4.5 rifle normally on a 5.5 you're looking around about 21 rounds Add a little extra three on the 4.5 velocity on this bad boy we're going to actually check it out so we're not going to obviously mention anything right now we're going to test the velocity and see what it actually sets uh, or what the rifle actually shoots at so that the factor bp is quite interesting um, it's regulated as well as fully adjustable from your transfer port on the front end to your hammer spring at the back of the rifle so there's quite a bit of adjust um, adjustments that you can actually do with this rifle to get you to shoot pretty much spot on or uh, quite accurately side cocking lever on the on the right hand side moving to the back fully adjustable stock you've got a cheek rest that you can actually adjust up and down and um, your back end as well fully adjustable in so many words you can actually raise the um, raise your stock so your FT stock fitted to the back running to the front of the rifle aluminium tank 200 by aluminium tank as well as fitted with the Hatson QE barrel system um, nice and quiet as well we just got the scope set in had a couple of shots and it's actually not not loud at all so what we have on here and hopefully we we'll should do a uh, upcoming video I've got the Optizen um, E 4 to 16 by 44 i on the rifle brilliant scope but um yeah let's leave the scope aside for now um, and check what the gun actually does so we're going to do a couple of shots in terms of um, velocity check the velocity on the rifle see what grouping we have all right guys so with the rifle itself uh actually forgot to mention this a little bit earlier you've got two gauges on the right hand side one for your bottle pressure and the other one for your regulator pressure so currently my regulator is sitting at just over 100 bar um, so around about 120 bar and um, a full 200 bar tank in the front i've got three power settings of the transfer port i've got three power settings of one two and three i'm just going to check the velocity of it being set at one let's go ahead i've got an 8.44 grain pellet and here we go 833 foot per second switching it over to power setting 2 so not too bad 942 foot per second uh, with a 4.5 pellet and at power setting 3 let's check what it does 1007 foot per second quite impressive with this little bad boy um, and as you can hear nice and quiet so let's take a look at um, the grouping that we can get i'm going to keep it on power setting three and uh, yeah take what it uh, see what it does all right so i've got my target set up uh you're looking at around about 50 meters up in front of us and um as i mentioned i did set the scope in a little bit earlier let's see if i can get a decent grouping i am on a little bit of a unstable base at the moment as my um, yeah table has been done. One thousand twenty-one. Okay, as you can hear in the background, my um, cone is not yet switched off. Nine hundred. 
All right, there we go. Um, five shot grouping. Doesn't look too bad. Um, a little bit of unstable uh, instability, as I mentioned. Um, but yeah, let's take a look, a closer look at what we've got over there. All right, guys. So as you can see, not the best grouping out of the lot. Um, that is around about five centimeters apart. Um, although this is a 50 meter with a 4.5 rifle, um, brand new out of the box. So it needs a little bit of adjustment to get it to set up correctly. But I think it's a, a decent reflection. I didn't have a firm base as well, but um, those three in the center, quite nice. Uh, that, as you can hear on the audio, um, was it around about 950 foot per second. So yeah, that is what we've got out of the rifle fork starters. But let's see if we can redeem ourselves and uh, hit the ping pong ball on the top. Uh, so let's give it another go. All right, guys. So as I said, a little bit of a finale. Let's see if I can redeem myself and shoot the ping pong ball at 50 meters. So here goes. Shot one. Okay, miss. Let's see again. There we go. A little bit of a correction <laughs> and we got it. So not the ending I was hoping for, but um, we've got to shoot the ping pong ball at, yeah, at 50 meters with the Hatton FT, BP, or oh, BPFT, sorry. Quite an awesome little rifle. Um, nice and quiet and actually packs a punch. Shoots at a at decent velocity. So if you're looking for something like this or uh, 4.5 for that matter, then it's a pretty decent rifle to go for. Packed with some power, quietness, and um, yeah, looking at the shot count, I can go all day. So yeah, the Hatson Factor BP, get it at any BNT store nationwide, or otherwise shop online at bntonline.co.za. I'll see you on the next one.